Good morning, good morning, happy Friday. Happy Friday. As you come in, please share out the video. Please like the video. Good morning, good morning, cuz. Good morning, how are you? I pray that all is well. If you would just bear with me to share out the video. I don't own the rights to the music. Say, I am well. Praise the Lord. I am well too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God brought us to the end of the work week to another day. Praise Him. Praise Him. So let's share it out. Good morning, cuz. Good morning. Good morning. Sabrina, how are you doing today? Praise the Lord. Just give me a um, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, please. I appreciate it. I don't know why I'm trying to share. I guess because sharing is caring. <laughs> guess because sharing is caring. But I don't want it to hold me up though. That's enough of sharing. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. Thank you for joining me this morning. Amen, amen for rise and shine. It's praying time, rise and shine. It's praying time. Men ought to always pray. And it is something about when the saints of God get together in the name of Jesus. We know that. The Lord is in the midst. And so for the replay, uh, the returning viewers, God bless you. Thank you for returning to Rise and Shine with Apostle Karen Proctor. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you for returning. I am Apostle Karen Proctor, uh, the founder of this online ministry under the direction of Jesus Christ. And for the first time viewers, God bless you. Thank you for uh, tuning in. I'm going to ask if you would subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. That way when I do come on, you would get the notification. Rise and shine, it's praying time. Hallelujah. I am also an author of, I think about 10, 11 books. Amen. And so this morning, I just want to give some nuggets from my book, Coach Me, Destiny is Calling. If you don't have it, get it. In addition to being a licensed, ordained, consecrated prophetess, um, apostle, I am also a writer, 
and a life coach, Christian counselor. Yes, all of that. I am not one dimensional. And so I want to share from you, uh, share with you from this angle this morning. This is something that God uh, dropped in my heart. Uh, for those that may just be coming on, uh, I want to share with you. If you've been with me last week, we were powering through on this book, Said Ain't So. Uh, also have prophets and the prophetic. Uh, his blood, supernatural power, and redemption. Core knowledge, vital to a successful ministry. Power in the word journal. Uh, the latest books I have is prophetic intel. False prophets, who are they? Those latest two prophetic books, prophetic intel. And false prophets, who are they? And so this morning, our prayer point uh, is, I am that I am. I am that I am. And I'm going to use one passage of scripture. And so if you're following me through the word, that passage of scripture is Exodus chapter 3 and verse 14 exodus chapter 3 and verse 14 if you have not shared out the broadcast yet i'm going to ask you to kindly share it share it with your friends share it with your facebook groups share it on your twitter feed share it on your instagram if you can do that share 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 sharing is caring and so let's get into the word so God has commissioned Moses. Let, let me just give a little back backdrop. God commissioned Moses at that time uh, where we would hear Exodus 3 and 14. At, uh, Moses was on the backside of the mountain tending to his father-in-law Jethro uh, flock. And then uh, God began to speak to Moses. How many times we try to hide out, or not necessarily hiding out, but doing our own thing. And in the midst of doing our own thing, God have a plan and God begin to speak to you. And then sometimes we begin to feel insufficient when God speaks because the assignment and the task that he give us oftentimes is bigger than life, bigger than anything that you think that you can do, uh, Sister Proctor, bigger than anything that you feel that you can do, Sister Darling, bigger than anything that I can do. And so we begin to fight with ourselves, fight with God. How could this be? And right now I'm even reminded of Mary when the angel Gabriel came to Mary and say, Hail Mary, you are full of grace. The Lord is with thee. And the Lord wants to put uh, this baby in you. And, and Mary was saying, how could that be? I know not a man. I know not a man. But then Mary went back and began to ponder over that thing. And then after a while, it, the word of God is recorded that Mary said, be it unto me. According to thy word. How many of us can say this morning, be it unto me according to thy word. And so let's get back to Moses. I thought that I would just want to match this in to show you that uh, this is the way that God works. <laughs> Sometimes all he is looking for is a yielded vessel. Sometimes he is just looking for uh, your yes. So Exodus chapter 3 and 14 says, And God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall thy say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord is already blessed. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Come on, y'all. Let's get the sharing. Let's get the sharing on this Friday morning. Hallelujah. I know many of you are on your way to work. You may be listening as you're getting ready. You may be listening as you're driving in your car. But go ahead and take just one quick little moment 
and share the broadcast out with your friends. Glory be to God. I believe that this is going to uh, bless somebody this morning. We don't want to keep the blessings to ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and drop those comments um, in the chat box. Go ahead and drop your, your prayer petitions in the prayer box. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to share the word. Just a snippet and we're going to pray. Amen. Just when you begin to feel insufficient. Thank you, uh, and Antoinette, for sharing. Just when you begin to feel like you are insufficient. Just when you begin to feel that you are not capable. Just when you begin to feel that you are not worthy for whatever it is that God has dropped in your spirit. Whatever it is that God has commanded you to do, just when you begin to feel uh, insufficient, inadequate, uh, God begin to uh, validate you. Come on, somebody. And then here's another thing. Sometimes we're looking for man to validate us and what God has commissioned us to do. You see, you, you uh, man validation, one man. One moment man will say that they're with you. Yeah, I got you, apostle. I got your back. I'm going to be there for you. Anything you need me to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be praying for you. But baby, the minute you turn your back, those people ain't highly thinking about you. And you're looking for somebody to validate the work that you're doing. Oh, yeah, uh, I know that God called her, and I know that she's anointed. I know that God called him. I know, oh, yes, yes, yes. I know that God, I, I, I see Sabrina here. I know she's a masseuse. Just when you're thinking that somebody's going to validate the work in your business, come on, hallelujah. They ain't going to highly validate you, but you got to have that confidence in God. Come on, hallelujah. So in essence, what God was telling Moses through Exodus chapter 3 and verse 14, you're not going on your own accord. See, that's where the problem lies. When we think that we are going on our own accord, when we think that we're going on our own strength and in our own power, Power. See, I heard long time ago, my elders used to say, the arms of flesh will fail you. The arms of flesh will fail you. And so when we think that we're going on our own accord and in our own power, we can't do nothing. But when we go in the name of the Lord, so God solidified this to Moses. Glory be to God. He said, Moses, he said, tell them. I am that I am. Come on, Sabrina say, I needed this today. See, God all, always know what we need. God say, Moses, tell them, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall thy say unto the children of Israel. He told Moses, he said, come on, I am that I am. Come on. I need you to trust me. The other day we were talking about put your trust in God. So in other words, God was telling Moses, I need you to trust me. I am that I am. I just need you to be confident in me. I was telling one of my cousins the other day we was having a, a talk and she was saying something about, uh, uh, yeah, you can do this. And if you have faith in God, but the scenario that she gave did not match up with having faith in God. Having faith in God is believing that he's going to come through based on the word. Amen. Based on the word that he told you based on who he is, not based on because I can go out there, get up on top of my roof like I was telling her. Yeah, I can go out there, get on top of my roof just because I named the name of Jesus and think that I, I'm a jump down and, and not my bones break and, and not uh, be subject to death, paralyzed or whatever. That's not faith in God just because I believe in Jesus. 
faith in God is whenever God tell you something, whenever you holding on to God's word, you know that God is going to come through for you. And so he told Moses, he said, Moses, come on. Maybe you don't know who I am. Come on. Maybe you don't know who I am. Maybe Sabrina, a lot of people don't know who you are. Maybe Antoinette, a lot of people don't know who you are. Come on. So God had to tell Moses, I am. And when we look at this in the Bible, it's all capitalized word. I am that I am. Come on. That means that I am everything that you will ever need me to be. I am everything. Come on. I'm all sufficient. I'm all knowing. I am all powerful. I'm that. Some people say, I'm that girl. I'm that boy. Come on. Without God, you ain't nothing. But God say, I am that I am. And he said thus, and he said thus shall thy say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Come on. I am. Come on. When God send you to do something, when God send you to a people, come on. Hallelujah. You can be very confident when they try to blow you down, when they try to make you feel like you are nothing. You are in, uh, in insufficient that you are not, that they are superior over you, that what he told you to do is nothing. You got to know at that moment, you got to let the I am stand up in you. Come on, let the I am, let I am stand up in you. When God is for you, who could be against you? When God is for you, who could be against you? Even though Moses was afraid, even though Moses was shaking in his boot, how many times you had to go somewhere and you, you didn't know how it was going to uh, pan out. You didn't know how it was going to turn out. You didn't know how you were going to be received. You didn't know if the people would buy your products. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's talk to some business women this morning. You didn't know. Maybe it's some business men here. I don't know, but I see the name of some women. Maybe you didn't no, come on, hallelujah, how that thing was going to pan out when you were going to, to pitch your product, glory be to God, you, you, you're so used to being in one circle, but God is trying to get you from that circle, and he's trying to move you to another circle, the word of the Lord came to me earlier this week, saying that God is getting ready to exhort his people. Come on. Hallelujah. It's time for it to be elevated, to be exhorted. God is trying to move you from that group that is only going to give you $5. Don't think that you are worth it. Why they don't feel like you are worth it? Oh, because I remember her. We went to school together. I remember her. We used to be neighbors. I remember him. We, we used to work together. Come on, somebody. And God has already changed and shifted the the trajectory of your life shifted the dynamics of your life. You are not who you used to be. Just like Moses. Maybe he was afraid because he had killed somebody. And so God, now you telling me I'm hiding. I'm on the back side of the desert. I'm hiding. You're going to tell me, come on, to go and be these people deliverer and go and speak on your behalf and go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go when everybody know that I killed some people, come on, hallelujah how many know, maybe this is your guilt trip, maybe you did things before and now you feel like you're not good enough to go to the world maybe I have did some things before and I'm not good enough to go to the world but let me tell you this, when you uh, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, what does the word of God say, he say all things are passed away and now you are a new creature, God has Toss those things in the sea of forgiveness. While you are still holding on to that, God say move forward. It is time to be elevated. Move forward. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, God knew what Moses did, but he still knew that he called Moses to be a deliverer. Moses, you're not.
not going as the, you're not returning to the people as the murderer. You're returning to the people. Come on, somebody. As my prophet, you are returning to the people as my spokesman. You are returning to the people as my deliverer to deliver the people. So, Karen, you can't worry about what you used to do, where you used, where you been before. Come on. God has cleaned you up. I'm going to talk to myself. Maybe you can talk to yourself. Glory be to God. All things I pass away. Come from behind that mountain hiding, Moses. Come from behind that, that mountain. What are you hiding for? When God say it's time to elevate you. Glory be to God. God is trying to get you to a new circle of people. God is trying to shine the spotlight on you. God wants to push your products. God wants to push you. Whatever God has called you to in this season. Come on. Get ready for this. I hear the Lord say, get ready for this. Come on. Hallelujah. The great I am is on the inside of you. Why don't you let the great I am stand up on the inside of you? Come on, evangelist Norris. Let the great I am stand up on the inside of you. If God has called you as that evangelist, and if he has anointed you as that evangelist, glory be to God, it's time to let that great I am stand up on the inside of you and go and tell those people what thus said the Lord. Go and pull them out of sin. Come on. God has shifted you. Come on. Even relocated you. Come on. Hallelujah. To thrust you out there to a people that don't even know about you. Glory be to God to give you a fresh start. So glory be to God. Hallelujah. So nobody can contest you. And even if they try to contest what God is telling you to do, glory be to God. Tell them Hallelujah. Just as he told Moses in Exodus chapter 3 and 14, I am that I am has sent me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we're going to let the great I am stand up on the inside of us. We're going to, uh, come on. Hallelujah. Yesterday I said, the word of the Lord came to me to elevate. And then we got to begin to let that thing Hallelujah, marinate in our mind, marinate in our thinking. Come on, hallelujah. So is a man thinking, so is he. If you don't think that the great I am is in you, for you, and with you, then you're always going to be on the losing spectrum. But when you know that the great I am is in you, with you, and for you, glory be to God, your attitude is going to be everything. You're, you're not walking out there bold and cocky. You're walking out there in the confidence of the Lord that the great I am is with me. There are many times when the Lord, hallelujah, give me an assignment to go forward and speak before his people. Oftentimes, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. I don't know how God is going to move. But one thing I do know that the great I am is in me. And like Jesus told his disciples, he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you you. Yea, I am with you even unto the end. Come on. Hallelujah. What are you pushing on this Friday? What are you pushing on this Friday morning? Hallelujah. You got to have the confidence of the Lord in you. Come on. Hallelujah. If you open up your mouth, the Lord will speak through you. Glory be to God. The scriptures say, if you build it, they will come. But if you never put it out there, come on. Hallelujah. Too many times people talk about people. Peter, how Peter let his faith fail him when he said, Jesus, is, is that you? When, it, when, when they saw Jesus walking on the water and they thought that it was a ghost. But Peter was bold enough to say, Jesus, is that you? And it's, if it's you, bid me to come. And then Jesus, Peter began to walk. Come on. I give Peter props. Even though his faith failed him after that, but he had the faith initially, glory be to God, to take the Lord at his word. Come on, and we got to take the Lord at his word today. Our attitude is everything, everything. Knowing that the great I am is in you. Come on, we got to think positive. We got to see positive. We have to speak positive. Glory be to God. And you will... You will become the best I am 
that God has created you to be. You are more than a conqueror. We said that yesterday. I am more than a conqueror. You will become more than a conqueror. Everything that we talked about, hallelujah, from Monday to this day, Friday, it's just connecting the dots. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You are empowered by the great I am. You are backed up by the great I am. Glory be to God. Who was, who is, and forevermore shall be. Come on. There is no power that is able to withstand the power and the authority of God that is in you. Who's in you today? Come on. The great I am. The great I am. So you got to encourage yourself every day and change the world around you through the power of I am. You have potential. You were made to win. Come on. Let's hashtag that. I am made to win. I am made to win. Come on. It's up to you to activate the winner in you. How about that? It's up to you to activate the winner in you. How do we activate the winner in us? Come on. I'm glad you asked. Come on. By knowing the great I am is on the inside of you. By tapping into the power of I am. The word of God say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Come on. That's right, Sabrina. Hallelujah. I've been made to win. That's right, Melinda. I am a winner. I was made to win. Come on, no matter what we may be facing this day, as you're headed to work, come on, as you're headed to business, wherever you're headed to, whatever is set before you today, you are a winner. Come on, hallelujah. Glory be to God. You have been made a winner. Can I tell you this Friday morning? God has authorized you to win, just like he authorized Moses to win. When Moses became afraid, he said, tell them, I am, I am, come on, hallelujah, I am that I am, I am that I am. Too many times we forget the word of God. Hallelujah. His word does not return unto him void. If he said it to one, hallelujah, he'll say it to you. Come on. He's no respect of a person. Glory be to God. We're going to be praying this morning from that perspective. Hallelujah. That the power of I am. Hallelujah. Will stand up on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We're going to be like David. Hallelujah. David did not care how big. Goliath was. David was but a young ruddy boy, but he knew, perhaps he knew about the power of I am. Even when Saul tried to give David his armor, David took it out of respect. Glory be to God. But then David thought about that. I can't fight with another man's armor. I know what God put in me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Evangelist, you know what God put in you. Come on, Sabrina. You know what God put in you. Internet, you know what God put in you. Come on, I can't pronounce the other name, but you know what God put in you. David knew that he that God anointed him to be a man of war. What has God anointed you with? So you can't look at me, glory be to God, because I know the assignment that God has placed in me. That's why sometimes we get off a of track because we start looking at other people and what other people are doing. Glory be to God. David stayed focused. Come on. Glory be to God. He told Saul, I can't use this. God has anointed these hands. He anointed these hands for me to kill a bear. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for me to kill a lion. Come on. Hallelujah. And he wasn't scared. He was not afraid of Goliath. Come on. Glory be to God. David took that rock, put it in the slingshot. Booyaka. Bam. Goliath was dead. The, 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 the giant fell back. Come on. Glory be to God. See, I know what God put in me. Glory be to God. I distinctly remember that day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When I heard the Lord say, I anoint your mouth to speak forth my word. Come on. Hallelujah. I know that it is power in this mouth. Come on. Glory be to God. And see, the devil tried to make me fear. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Just like he tried to make Moses fear when God told him to go to the people. Hallelujah. I remember when I first started in ministry, I would say to myself, oh, I don't like my voice. My voice is deep. My voice is raspy. See, the very thing that God anointed, the devil tried to make me dislike it so that I will not go forward. Come on. Hallelujah. And then everywhere I would go, people would tell me, girl, your voice is so powerful. Come on. How about that? Hallelujah. That thing that God put in me, glory be to God, the devil tried to make me shy away from it. Hallelujah. So what has God put in you? What has God put in you? Glory be to God that the devil has tried to make you shy away from it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Remind yourself that the great I am is on the inside of you. The great I am it's on the inside of you. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Like I said yesterday, if you're a teacher, you're a lawyer, you're a stay-home mother. Hallelujah. You're a yards man. Glory be to God. You're working a courthouse, whatever it do. Hallelujah. Evangelists say same here. Glory be to God. Whatever it is, glory be to God. If God has caused you to sell, hallelujah, give you a product to sell. Sell it like no other. Glory be to God. Don't worry about how many other people are selling dresses, clothes, wigs, whatever. Glory be to God. It's something special. Glory be to God about you. It is something special about the great I am that's on the inside of you. Come on, share this video out. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we humble ourselves. Hallelujah. Before you today, Father, we pray today, none of us, but all of you. God, we pray, hallelujah, for divine connections this morning. We pray that you will put your super upon our natural today, God. We thank you for this Friday in which we never seen before. And after it's gone, we will never, ever see it again. God, we thank you for each and every person that is on this live broadcast. Father, we thank you that you are the great I am. Father, teach us to allow the I am, the great I am, to stand up on the inside of us. We denounce fear in the mighty name of Jesus. We denounce all the plans, the strategies of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We, de uh, we denounce the warfare. We denounce all the attacks of the enemy. We denounce the fear that the enemy placed our way. To make us think that we cannot go forward in the name of Jesus. The fear that make us feel like we cannot do it. We denounce you in the name of Jesus. You would not have your hold on us. You cannot have your hold on us. We have been bought with a price. And that price is the sacred blood of Jesus. We are covered in the blood of Jesus today. Father, we thank you that you strengthen in us to go forward today. God, we pray that this morning that you will open up our eyes that we will be able to see in the realm of the spirit like never ever before that we will be able to see that there is more with us than against us lord we thank you glory be to god for strengthening us on every week and leaning side god we pray for clarity this morning god clarity and what you're calling us to do, hallelujah, in this moment in our life. God, we pray for the sevenfold anointing in the name of Jesus to come upon us, the anointing of wisdom, might, counsel, revelation, the anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, to come upon us. Uh, glory be to God. Father, we thank you for your word declares uh, that they that know their God shall do mighty exploits. And Father, we ask you right now to use us to do mighty exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you today that we are more than conquerors, that we are heirs with you, Father God, and joint heirs with Christ Jesus. We are seated in heavenly places. Father, we thank you right now for dispatching your ministry and spirits to go forward, to minister on our behalf today. God, we lift up our family today. We lift up all our children, our grandchildren, our siblings, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. God, we lift them up. We lift up our cousins. God, we lift up those that we partner with in ministry. We lift them up before you, God. We lift this nation up before your throne of grace, God. We ask that you will have mercy upon us while mercy may be found. God, we thank you right now.
right now, Father, for turning difficult situations around. Everything that the enemy meant for harm in our life, Father, we pray right now that you would reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that Satan and his imps are a defeated foe. Lord, we thank you that by Jesus' stripes, we are already healed. We are healed from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We are winners. We decree and declare today, hallelujah, that we will not be riddled by bondage. We are overcomers today. We overcome through the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony. And we love not our life unto death. Lord, we thank you for pouring fresh revelation on us today, God. Fresh insight. We thank you for witty inventions. Lord, we thank you for making our name great for your honor and your glory. God, you be glorified in our life. Father, we ask you to put our feet in a large room. God, we pray like Jabez prayed. Oh God, enlarge our territory, not for our good, but for your honor, for your glory, that we will be kingdom ambassadors. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. Lord, you said in your word, ask you for the heathen nation and you would give it to us. And so, Father, we ask you for the heathen nations this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that we will have footprint around the world as we share the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for you giving us the power to bind and loose and we bind the opposition of the enemy. Glory be to God in the mighty name of Jesus and we loose glory be to God the anointing of the winner we loose the anointing of elevation we loose the anointing of a conqueror every place that the ground of the sole of our feet tread upon we possess the land everything we touch is prospering in the name of Jesus all of our goals will come to pass in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare in prayer that we have the victory. We have the victory today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we just lift up Ukraine before you, Father. We lift up the people of Ukraine. We lift up the president. God, we lift them up before you, God. We pray for your divine intervention in the affairs of Ukraine. God, we pray for your divine intervention in the affairs of Russia, China, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, turn these situations around. Lord God, we pray for your divine intervention even in America, God, even in our president, our vice president, God. Father, we thank you today one more time that the government is upon your shoulder. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, Father. God, we pray. Glory be to God for all those victims of the storm of iron. God, we thank you for sending help, rescuing the people, Father. We thank you right now, God. Oh, God, I lift up my friend's sister, Father. Hallelujah. That was going for the operation, God. Father, you be her Jehovah Rapha. Oh, God, the God that healed her. God, I lift up the young man that the mother sent me to text this morning. Glory be to God of a son in the hospital. God, you be there with them, for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now. We thank you for setting the captives free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Come on, let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's raise a praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's praise him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah for what he's doing, how he's doing. Hallelujah in our life. Glory be to God. And before I leave, I want to give you four nuggets. Glory be to God. As I was writing this book again, Coach Me Destiny is Calling. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God gave me four nuggets to share on the power of I am. The four golden nuggets. You are the embodiment of Christ. You are the embodiment of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Speak what you desire. Attitude 
it's important. And lastly, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. Hallelujah. For those of you that is just coming on the broadcast, hallelujah. At the top of the broadcast, I was sharing, hallelujah, some of the merchandise that I have by way of books. Coach Me Destiny is calling His Blood, Supernatural Power, and Redemption, Prophets, and the Prophetic. Another prophetic book I have is Prophetic Intel. And the next prophetic book I have is God's Prophets. It's a process. The other prophetic book I have is False Prophets. Who are they? So that's four prophetic books. And somebody may be saying, why so many prophetic books? The Bible say every seed produced after its own time. God called me as a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. And so from my experience and my knowledge, I write from that. Hallelujah. I do have a school of ministry. And in one of those uh, segments, I do have the school of the prophets. Said ain't so power in the word power in the word prayer journal core knowledge vital to a successful ministry so if you're trying to jump start your ministry glory be to god and not only to jump start your ministry i have so many pastors that fell in love with this book so those are some of the products that i have hallelujah and so i'm going to ask you today to be a financial blessing. If these two weeks of um what what have I been calling it? <laughs> if these two weeks have been a blessing to you, okay, Sabrina, I'll be right here waiting. Uh if these two weeks has been a blessing to you, I'm gonna ask you today to go ahead and be a blessing in return to the ministry. There are uh, links up there. Um at the top of the description that you can sow into the ministry. Know that your giving would never ever leave your life. Your giving is on an assignment to receive a godly harvest. You can give by Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, um, <laughs> what it is, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, and something else. Anyway, uh, God bless you. Make it a great day. If you have not shared the video yet, go ahead and share. And if the Lord's will life last same time, uh, Monday morning next week, I'll be doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, no, I need to get that, uh, Sabrina. I need to get that. Too many of the young people be asking me for things that I don't have. You know, you got to get with the program. <laughs> One of the uh, young ladies told me to do Apple Pay. So I don't do all that other stuff. Do Apple Pay. And when I went to Atlanta about two years ago to minister, just about everybody there was asking me, do I have Venmo? And do, did I get it yet? No. So you're speaking to me this morning. <laughs> so God bless you. Have a great day. Bye for now.